Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy and in today's tutorial we're going to be changing something inside the third person character blueprint known as the IMC and put Mac in context and I'm going to teach you on how to actually do the following so if you look here you're going to be able to do the following so you're going to be able to take an object and by just holding down the E button, you'll be able to change the color of the sphere, or by double tapping and making it red, or a single tap and reverting it back to white. So no time to waste, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, to start out, this is just a regular project for the third person template. Okay, so we're going to go to the third person folder within the content folder. And we're going to create uh, our inputs here for this enhanced inputs. So just to start out, I want to show you guys this real quick. OK, so this right here is called an IMC, which is called um, it's a map context. OK, input map context. OK, that's the acronym. Now, this actually holds the inside Inside of this holds the actual actions you can use for your button presses or your button clicks. So um, first, I'm going to show you how to actually find this, and then we're going to open this up. OK, so if you want to create the index, because this is one of the first things you're going to need, you go right here to inputs and to input map context, click on it, and that's how you create that. But in this video, I'm not going to use a freshly new one. I'm going to use one that is within uh, the actual blueprint already. So um, we're going to go ahead and delete that one. Yes, it's okay. We can delete it. And I want you to see here, I'm going to open this up. So give me a second here. Okay, so open this up. So now you can see it right here. This is the actual index. So right here, we got the jump, the move, and the look. Okay, and these are all actions. The IA stands for input action. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go into the actions folder and we're going to right click and we're going to do inputs and we're going to do input action. And then we're going to start with, we're going to do three input actions. The first one, we're going to do I A for input action, just to make it easy to find. And we're going to do hold green. Okay, that's all we need to do for that. And we're gonna make two more. We're gonna do input action again. I, A. We're gonna call this one true red. And then we're gonna do one more. Again, input action. We're gonna call this double red. Oh, sorry. I a underscore double red. Okay. And that's all you need to do. Now these input actions here are just things that will actually go on the graph to um, in place of the actual button press. And I'm going to show you that now. But before we do that, we have to take these we created and put them in the input uh, mapping context, which is up here. So I'm going to go to that tab. Okay. And then simply, we're going to add one here. We're going to add the hold green. So I hold green. And for the I hold green, this is going to be the long button press. Okay. So we're going to use the actual E key for the button press. So you, you left click on this and press the button you want to designate. And that'll give you that. I'm going to go in a little bit deeper here. And we're going to have to add a trigger for this. And the trigger we're going to add is going to, you see here at index zero, the trigger we're going to add is the hold. Now, for this hold to work, we're going to have to give it a certain amount of seconds. So, and that's called the hold time. So right here is at one second. We're going to do three seconds. Okay, and we're going to make it a one shot because if we don't do this one shot, it'll just continuously keep firing off. So we don't want that. OK, 
Okay. All right. We're done with the hold. So that's it for this one. So we can just, uh, we can right click and collapse all. That's one way to do it. Then we're going to add the next one. Okay. I, I don't know why I didn't collapse there, but that's okay. So the next one we're going to use is, we're going to do true red first. Okay. Because this is going to make more sense on why. So we're going to look for input action. True red. And for this one, I don't know why that keeps opening up. We're going to do a left click here and we're going to use the E button or E key again. Okay. And then, you know, it's always good to save every so often, just in case of crashes. Now for the final one to enable our double click, we're going to call it the double red. We're going to add another one. Okay. And we're going to look for double red. So the input action double red. Okay. And for this one, we're not concerned about this here because we're going to do something. We're going to do a trigger. Okay. So for this trigger, we're going to do something called a combo. So combo beta is what we're going to do. Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky. Okay. Because we're, what we're going to do essentially is we're going to do, we're going to make it to where you tap the E key twice. And that will allow you to um, execute whatever command we're doing. So we're going to open this up and we're going to have to add a combo action here. So we add one here and under this index zero, we're going to open this up and we're going to do IA true red. Okay. IA true red is that E button press. Okay. We're not going to put it on triggered. We're going to set it to completed and remove the trigger. Okay. Now, nope. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Now, right here for the time it's pressed, because it's going to be a quick tap, we're going to do point two. Okay. And hit enter. And then that's save. Now, all these settings and everything we've done here for the double tap, we're going to do it again. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this to hopefully make it less confusing. So that's index zero. So we have to add one more of these. We're going to hit this element here. Now you see we got zero, we got index one. Now I could copy and paste this, but I'm going to do it again just to reinforce learning. So we're going to open it back up. We're going to go back to the true red and put action true red. We're going to go back. We're going to do completed. We're not going to do triggered. And then for the time press, we're going to do point two again. So that way it's quick. It's tap, tap. Okay. Yeah. Minimize that. And we can leave the actuation at default. That's fine. It's okay. So we've got all of our input actions here. So this is to, in order for this to execute, you got to hold down E for three seconds for true red. You don't have to do that. You just have to tap it once and that executes the true red command. And this is the double tap, which you need two of these to make that. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So to, in order to make like a, a simple example here, we're just going to use the level here. Okay. So that regular level got the start here and we're going to add up here. A, we're going to add an object to this level. Okay. We're going to add a shape. We're going to add sphere. Drag it in. We can rotate it up so we can see the full sphere. And I, I thought it'd be easiest just to, you know, change the color of the sphere, different colors for each input action. So we're going to do that now. Now, in order to access this, we're going to highlight this. Okay, by clicking on it. See, it's got the yellow around it. And we're going to open the level blueprint, which is under this, this spot right here. Go to level blueprint. Okay. And then we're going to right click and we're going to create a reference for that sphere we just put inside the level. So, and then left click and add that. Okay. Now from here, I'll hit compile and save as often as you can. From here, we're going to drag off this and we want to change the color. So we're going to change the material, right? And the way to change that, we're going to say set material. 
you can use this right here. Oh, sorry about zooming out like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Neaten this up. So when you do that, it's going to create this static mesh component thing here. And for this material, okay, so we're going to take this to the top. So we're going to do uh, the whole green, I guess, on this. So we're going to look for a green one here. I think we can just type green. There we go. And we can use this one. This anim share green material, that's fine. Now, we're going to need to do, make some other ones like this. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag off here. We're going to do set material. Set material. Okay. Oh, sorry. We're going to do set material. Again, set material. Right here. Okay. And just to give an example. Okay, to give an example of this, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a E key real quick. So, um, just to show you how what happens when you flip flop through with just a regular button press. So we're gonna select that, select the E key. On the pressed, we're gonna set the material to this green, and then on the release, we're gonna set it to red. So let's look for a red material. Oh, we got one right here. Okay. Set that there. Okay, so when we hold it down, we're going to turn green. When we let it go, we're going to turn it red. This is just to show you what happens within the level blueprint. So we're going to hit compile, save, go to here. We're going to hit play. And then from this point, I mean, we don't even have to walk up to it. We can just hold E down. You know, if you hold it down, it's green. You let it go, it's red. Okay, now. So we can hit escape out of that. Back to the, the set material. So, so we want to make the green hold. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use that input action we had uh, before. So right click and just type in what you spelled out before. So input action hold green. There. Okay. And triggered just means the same thing as pressed. That's all triggered means. So we're going to use that for that. And we're going to hold down Alt and left click to disconnect that pin. Okay. We can move this to the side over here. And we can let go of this. This is the released. Okay. And for, okay, the red. Okay, we'll compile, save always. So we're going to right click. I A and then we're gonna do double tap. Oh, I A double double yeah, double red. Sorry, I A double red. Okay. And we're gonna open this up. And you can use the triggered order released. Um we have it set to complete. Now triggered means it's pressed down. Complete means release. So I'm going to set it on a complete on this just to show you that you can use this as well. Okay. Now, so remember what's happening here is okay, so when we're doing this, we're holding down the E key, and it's basically what it's doing is it's going to show the green, and then if we double tap down here, it's going to give true red twice. Okay, so we don't need true red, we got double red. So now, with the way this code is set up, we're going to see this activate right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, test that out. Okay, go back to the map, hit play. And then you can hold down E for three seconds, turns it green. Now, if you hit E twice and then you double tap, turns it red. You have to be quick. Okay, hit escape. Now, let's say we want to turn it back white. I'm going to show you how to just turn it back with a, a single white, so um, to make it white with a single tap. 
Okay, so we go back here. And we can take this E right here. Okay, so we're gonna have to do one more of these down here. We're gonna do a set material. And right here. And we're gonna do this on pressed. Okay. And what we're gonna change is we're gonna set the material to, let's see, I think it's right here. Yeah, I think, let me see, can you type in white? I'm just curious. No, you can't. Okay, so you just wanna look for a material that's pretty much white, so this advanced flag would work, or this anim share base, base material. Anim share base, okay? Compile and save. Okay, and then we're gonna hit play. And to test this out, so right now it's white already. We're gonna double tap for red. We're gonna hold E down for three seconds, and then it's gonna turn green. Now, if you hit E once, it turns it back white. Now, what's happening here is whenever you hit it once, like when you when it's on the pressed, that's what's causing it to change colors before it goes into it. So, yes. So that's basically it uh, for this tutorial. If uh, this content helped you, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.